This is the Walmart in Winnemucca. And I'm not sure. I believe you can stay overnight. Um, there's a Napa Auto Parts right there. There is a Flying J right across the street. So I'm not sure if you can stay here. We, we were going to stay in Winnemucca, but it's been such a short drive. Just a little up. Yeah, we're going to continue on up toward Burns, Oregon. We're going to some really, really big sand dunes right here. Wow. I don't know why I love sand dunes. I just do. Oh, look out there. Goodness, there's a ton of them out there. Wow. So I believe this is McDermott, Nevada. Yep, it is. And we're right on the border of Nevada and Oregon. And we're so excited because this is the first time we've been back to Oregon in a couple of years since we sold our property on the coast in Newport and left. We have not been back to Oregon since. This is exciting. We're headed to Lapine where we've never been before, but we are meeting up with a couple that we met on the road at another job, another camp hosting job. We'll be camp hosting for the summer and into the fall and um, gosh, this should be really fun. Um, we'll do a couple of trips from there this summer um, and uh, do a video on those too. This is, this is pretty cool. Welcome to Oregon. These are the first trees I've seen. We just hit Oregon not too long ago. And here we are. We're in Oregon. <laughs> the first rain we've seen in a long time. The first trees we've seen in a long time. I haven't been back in Oregon for a couple of years, so this is really cool. This is awesome. We're so excited. <laughs> it's nice to know, though, um, that there's an RV dump there at the Sinclair station. There's like three Sinclair stations or something in the Burns Hines area. I didn't realize they were basically the same town. We are back in Oregon. Wow, <laughs> it's so rainy. <laughs> we are at the Sinclair truck stop outside of Hines, Oregon, outside of Burns, Oregon. It's kind of all one little town. And the hospitality here has been fantastic. This is great, safe, and quiet place, even with the trucks. Quiet, a place to rest if you're tired from the road. And the woman in this was just so sweet, so hospitable. And there's a dinosaur, if you can see it here, there's a dinosaur on top of the building. The center um, icon. <laughs> anyway, woo, Oregon. So this is what it looks like when you're first heading up into the Steens Mountains. Be doing a lot of upgrade. Um, not sure how far. On the map, it looked pretty steep, but short. Only steep for a few miles, and then it looked like we we're done. Like maybe I don't know, five miles of steep. So we'll just go slow, take our time. And there's no phone service through here that I can tell. So once we come up on the other side. View of Burns, basically, we should have some phone service then, or internet services. Is, is a, we're going on a, with a jet pack. Hmm. But here it is. It's some, some steep upgrades on some steep hills. Yeah, there's no passing lane, and um, I'm just glad it's smooth. No, it could be a lot worse. It's been kind of wavy, but pretty smooth through here.
looks like we're headed for clear skies over there. <laughs> so we just went through a little storm. A little storm just went over us or something. We went under it. Under it. <laughs> It was kind of terrifying for a minute. I'd forgotten how bad that Oregon storms can be. Oh, this has just turned into the most beautiful day. Oh, wow. Just beautiful. Central Oregon is just gorgeous. I love it. And I remember right here, lots of great big tall ponderosa pines. It's a very pretty town. Oh my god, the tree is humongous. And again, we're still into the big tree, right? <laughs> 